Hey kids, today we're going to learn about fact families. What are fact families? Fact families are three numbers that are related. Just like people in a family are related, they make a set of related math facts. You may remember doing fact families in second grade or first grade using addition and subtraction. For instance, three plus what number equals 10? Well, to figure that out, I have to do the inverse or opposite operation, which is subtraction. I ask myself, 10 minus 3 equals what number? It equals 7. In a fact family, all three numbers are related, which means I only use these three numbers. So if 3 plus 7 equals 10, 7 plus 3 equals 10, 10 minus 7 equals 3, and 10 minus 3 equals 7. Notice how I only use these three numbers. In third grade, we use fact families as well, except we can also use them for multiplication and division. Take, for instance, this division problem. 12 divided by what number equals 4? Well, I'm not really sure, but I know that I can possibly use a fact family to figure this out. Let's also look at the division vocabulary. Keep in mind that the dividend is always the biggest number because we're splitting that biggest number into equal groups. The divisor tells me how many equal groups I'm splitting that number into. And the quotient, which is also the answer to a division problem, tells me how many is going to be in each group. The inverse operation of division or opposite operation of division is multiplication. Take a look at our multiplication vocabulary. We have a factor times a factor which equals a product. A product is the answer to a multiplication problem. In multiplication, I'm combining equal groups. So my factors are my smaller numbers and my product is always going to be the biggest number in the fact family. Once again, the product is always the biggest number in the fact family. This is because I'm taking those two smaller numbers and combining them to get the total. How many are in each group after I add them all together? Let's go back to the original question. 12 divided by what number equals 4? I'm going to flip it and do the opposite operation by now asking myself, 4 multiplied by what number equals 12? Notice that I moved the 12 into the very last slot for the multiplication problem because in multiplication, the biggest number always comes last. And in division, the biggest number always comes first. Now that I've moved this into a multiplication problem, I can ask myself, 4 groups of blank equals 12. I know we say this all the time in multiplication, blank groups of blank equals blank. But now that's going to help me draw a picture. Four groups of blank equals 12. Well, what I just said was four groups of, so that's what I do first. I draw four groups. Four groups of blank equals 12. Well, I drew my four groups, but I don't know how many go in each group. However, I know the product is 12, which means when I add up all of these numbers that are in each group, it's going to equal 12. So I put one dot in each group until I get to 12. And when I did that, I had three in each group, which means four times three equals 12. I can also solve this by drawing an array. Four groups of means I draw four rows. Notice how I drew those four circles in red. Now I need to draw the circles going horizontally until I get to 12 total circles, since 12 is my product. Keep in mind, I count that red circle as part of my columns going horizontal. Notice how I circled them, so then I made sure that they were accounted for. And then I noticed that four times three equals 12. Since I discovered that 4 times 3 equals 12, I can flip the factors and get the same product. 3 times 4 equals 12, which is also called the commutative property or flip-flop rule if you remember. 
Now I can do the inverse or the opposite operation, which is division. 12 divided by 4 equals 3. And I can also do 12 divided by 3 equals 4 to get my answer.